What's up home, Slice Lucas here. So are your knees making like a super loud cracking noise when you squat down, stand up, you know, go from a deep squat to standing up? Is it kind of a concerning sounding noise, but there is no pain? I had this extremely bad and I can even still invoke it right now for example reasons right here. But most of the time when I naturally squat down and stand up because I've been doing these exercises I'm about to share with you, the noise is, you know, it's virtually gone, at least 90% gone. I'm gonna share with you what worked for me in my experience and how I addressed and fixed this problem for myself. But you gotta focus. So in most cases, and in my case, what's happening is we have the patella here. So the patella is that thing where you, you know, if you relax, you can move it around just like this. The patella, when you extend and flex the knee, well, it moves along this cartilage that's on your femur, your, your big leg bone up here. Now what happens is there are a lot of muscles that connect to the patella. Some of those muscles can get way tighter than they should be, and some of those muscles can get way looser than they should be. So in my case, I used to do a lot of flares. That's essentially this gymnastics, acrobatic-like movement. It's actually a b-boy power move. But what it did is it demanded me to throw my leg up to the side a lot, tightening these muscles on the outside, these abductors. And by doing that, these muscles on the inside right here always got stretched out. They got really flexible, but also kind of weak. So I had really tight, strong muscles on the outside here, very weak, loose muscles on the inside here. And well, that just pulled my patella to the side here, took it out of that natural track that it should be going through, and caused that crunching, cracking noise every time I squatted down and stood up. Now in my cases, and in many cases, there is no pain, and that's great. It's not too concerning when there isn't any pain, but over time, when the patella isn't supposed to be where it is, I mean, just think of it naturally. What's gonna happen is it may wear down those other areas, and then you could end up with osteoarthritis. So let me show you this quick fix that can, in most cases, immediately fix the problem if you have the similar issues that I have. Tight on this side, loose on this side, which is very common. Okay, first of all, side note, let's always start at the ground with our feet. If you notice your feet are actually sinking in like this, this could actually be the primary cause of your knee cracking because, you know, all of these muscles are all connected, okay? So you want to try to get into a more neutral standing position by getting your legs more in line with your feet, not to the inside like this. So even if you have to consciously move your feet to stand over straighter like that, just do so now. Then what you do is you consciously flex these adductor muscles, these inner thigh muscles. Consciously flex them, but don't go like this. Don't knock the knees. You just consciously flex them so that they can feel them they're tight. They're tighter. They're flexed. Then from here, you can just go through your deep squat position. And look at that. No cracking. So before, if I'm just going through it naturally like I used to, oh, cracking. Ugh. But watch this. Consciously flex. Virtually gone. So that's literally an instant fix right there that can work in a lot of cases. Now we can take this further with like a three to five minute warm up that can help our patellas get more naturally aligned to help get rid of this cracking. Because in my case, I know it's my outside of the leg muscles here, the vastus lateralis, the IT band, etc., all on the outside, all this fascia. What I can do is I can literally just help myself get some release, myofascial release with the foam roller by rolling on the side, you can go minute, two minutes each side, nice and slow. All the foam roller is doing is it's helping break up knots in the muscle that's being rolled. In my case, the IT band, vastus lateralis on the outside here. And by breaking up those knots, it's helping realign the fibers, helping them loosen up, just get more soft rather than tight, which in my case, because these are so tight, can help release that patella back into its natural alignment. One to two minutes on each leg. Now say for instance, you're like a professional watermelon cracker or something, <laughs> maybe it's super tight on the inside here and this is super loose on the outside, then in that case, maybe put your focus towards rolling that inside of the leg muscles. Now I was just having a conversation about my friend Logan with this. He is a physical therapist and something he pointed out that I would forget in this video is there can also be an issue starting up at the hip here for some. For me, this wasn't the case, but I'm gonna share it with you just in case this is your problem. So a way to address this problem to figure out if this is one of the reasons for your knee cracking is very simple. All you gotta do is if you stand up on one leg, I'm taking one leg off the floor, if you just naturally wanna sag to the side like this, if your hip wants to pop out to the side, that could indicate you have a weak gluteus medius or even just weak glutes in general. Because ideally, naturally, if I just went to stand on one leg, I would wanna be up straight like this, okay? Not like this. So if you notice yourself going to one leg and you're like, oh my gosh, wow, I just naturally want to sag like this. And it's just like, ah, oh, it's too, too hard for me to stand up. That could be actually causing imbalances all down the leg leading to that knee cracking. So a very simple exercise you can do to hit the gluteus medius, all fours like this on the knees, lift one knee up to the side, boom, boom. You can go 10 to 20 reps, three sets, 
awesome. Other than that, try to figure out by your movement patterns, how you're standing, assessing yourself, what is loose, what is weak, what is tight, what is way too strong, and try to balance things out. So ideally, the knee is gonna go from being off track to back on track through that smooth cartilage, getting rid of most of the cracking and popping. Now, as always, listen to your doctor or physical therapist. This is just what worked for me in my case. But from what I've heard, this is a very common problem is having tight on one side and loose on the other. So if it is a simple fix for you figuring that out, then that is awesome. Also remember that this instance is with no pain. I have no pain even though I have all this cracking noise going on. So if you're having cracking noise going on with severe pain, that might be a deeper problem, so you might wanna go get that checked out. And if you guys are interested at getting strong with your body weight, check out my 12-week calisthenics program, Body Weight Beast 2.0 on OnlyKindsFitness.com. Get stronger, faster, better with your body weight. Get in shape over this summer. It's a 12-week program, tons of great feedback on this. Hard copies available. If you don't want a hard copy, you can just get a digital download. If you do get a hard copy, you will get a complimentary digital download. We are shipping these things worldwide, and I just wanna thank you all so much for all your positive feedback and support. Don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned, turn those notifications on. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.